Hey, I'm Bill and this is Vital Bike Chains. So I woke up this morning really stressed. I have done like no holiday shopping, but I always want to find out where the deal is. So, you know, the other thing that bothers me is chain lube. Like where is the deal with chain lube? So today I'm going to look at some of the top dry chain lubes and we're going to find out what the deal is. So here's a couple of examples. This bottle of chain lube that costs like $15, it only has 50 milliliters inside of it. And yet, this other bottle of chain lube also costs about $15, but it has 120 milliliters. Now, chain lube's really important, right? It's like the blood of our bike. Well, maybe that's a little gross, but I'm keeping it. So, you know, although like we wanna go as fast as possible, we also don't wanna spend as much as possible. All right, so I put together this spreadsheet. It's not using Excel because I couldn't afford Excel. It's like the cheap version that came with my computer. I think it's like Excel with a U or something like that. All right, so there's these first two columns that say rank, like one is the wear rank and then the next one is the friction rank. Like I didn't make this stuff up. I went to a source, a reliable source and uh, used their information. He gave me the thumbs up that I could do this, so that's okay. Yeah, so you see the footnote, it says the rankings is from Zero Friction Cycling. You can go to their website and with a few clicks, you can get to the same information that I found. Yeah, so when you go to their website, you'll find a tab called Lubricant Testing. And then in that, he's got some screenshots of some of the data but then you can scroll all the way down and, and download the information yourself by clicking a link, clicking a link called full lubricant testing file, and then you download it. Then I took the information he had and I just pulled off the dry lubricants because that's all I'm interested in. And I put these in order of the wear rank, so one being the best wear and nine being the worst wear. And then I also added a column for the friction ranking. Well, and now it was time for me to actually do some work. So I went online to all these websites and found their retail packaging and their retail price. All right, so that was enough work for me. I let my Excel do the rest of the work. I wanna know sort of an equivalent so I put in a column that says like the dollar per 100 milliliters. And then the last thing I wanted to know was, you know, how much is it gonna cost per application? Meaning, how much is it gonna cost every time I wanna lube my chain? To do this, I decided I was gonna put one drop of lube on each link on a 100 link chain, and that's gonna take five milliliters. I'll just pause here for a second so you can stare at this and uh, listen to some really cool background music. You know you're in trouble when you go to the same store twice in one day to do holiday shopping. So I hope you guys are having better luck than I am, but I'll see you next time on Vital Bike Chains. Take care. Still shopping. I just want to get like the same thing for everybody. Like a, like there's a honey baked ham, but can I just buy everybody honey baked ham for Christmas? Am I really pulling into Walgreens to get Christmas gifts? There's a jewelry store. I don't think jewelry makes a good gift though, does it? What if I just buy everybody their own domain, like their name.com?